by negotiation to allow uh, Jerusalem to be handed back to the Christians. Richard wrote a private letter appealing to Saladin's famous generosity. The Muslims and the Crusaders are bleeding to death. The country is utterly ruined. Lives have been sacrificed on both sides. The time has come to stop this. Jerusalem is for us an object of worship. It must be consigned to us. But the holy city was also sacred to Muslims. Richard does not know just how centrally important Jerusalem was to the Muslims. He probably overestimates his ability to persuade Saladin to give up this city, thinking it doesn't mean so much. Saladin has to dissuade him, persuade him. I know it's, Jerusalem means as much to us as it does to you. Saladin sent his brother Aladil with his response to Richard's request. Jerusalem is ours as much as yours. Indeed, it's even more sacred to us than it is to you. Do not imagine that we can renounce it or waver on this point. The land was originally ours, whereas you have only just arrived. Jerusalem was a sacred Islamic site where the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. Saladin would never give it up. His status in the Arab world depended on retaining it. But he was completely unprepared for what happened next. Richard and Aladil continued to meet and became close friends. Men like Richard and Aladil both believe they have been born to rule, to lead armies, to enjoy hunting, to enjoy hawking, to enjoy fine horses, to enjoy music. They have so much in common that once they get talking, it's not surprising they appreciate each other's qualities. Richard was so impressed by Aladil that he started to call him brother and knighted his son as if he were a European prince. The massacre at Acre seemed a distant memory. Once he has met with Saladin's brother Al-Adil, he felt these were not merely stereotypical nightmare figures of some horrible, hideous, alien people. And from that moment on, the rest of the crusade, there is nothing remotely approaching the slaughter of the garrison of Acre. In my opinion, Al-Adil was an ambitious man who wanted to become a king, to have the largest number of women and to eat the most luxurious types of food. He saw that there was an opportunity for him 